So I wrote a book years ago. Uh, it was a long journey, but I'm so proud I did it. It really is like birthing a child. And I run into people all the time who say, Jeff, what's the process? How do you write a book? We're going to be talking all about that with a uh, leading national expert next on The Jeff Crilly Show. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team and the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. So there's an old saying in the book world, the one day novel. I'm going to write a, a novel one day. And of course, that one day never comes. And so we're coming around our, our New Year's resolutions, and a lot of you are thinking, well, maybe it's time to write that book, especially with the pandemic, and uh, many people have a little extra time on their hands. This is a perfect time to write that book. Diana Boer is my guest. She is an executive coach, keynote speaker, best selling author, and a book guru. Thank you for coming on the show. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> well, let me, let me start with your journey, because you've got several books in front of you. I, I love it that you've, you've, already, you've done this. I mean, so many book gurus, or, or giving advice, and they've never actually written a book themselves. So talk to me about your titles. <laughs> well, I have uh, the Communicate Like a Leader that came out a couple of years ago, and that is sort of the best of all the communication books I've written out of the, 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 the bulk of them. Half of them are on communication because that's what every executive has to do. As right. somebody said, nothing happens until somebody communicates about it. And then this one on email, I found out that that was a huge problem for people. Just not only writing it and structuring it, but people don't respond anymore because they get so, the volume is just unbelievable. Yes. So about managing it and just faster ways that you can respond and get the same thing done but not with six emails in your tray, you know, in the thread. And then this one on personal presence probably has been the best in the corporate world mm. because people, they get uh, stalled about mid-management and they think, why am I not getting to that executive level? And so many times the executive will call me and say, can you help this engineer, this accountant, we'd really like to promote them, but they just need, and they usually use the word polish, they just need polish. And so I interpret that, oh, you mean, and I explain what executive presence is, how you look, talk, think, and act. And they go, that's it. <laughs> so I've been coaching uh, people at, at the corporations for a long, long time in presence. So let's talk about why somebody should do a book. Why do you advise people to do a book? Well, I think that it is your best way to have influence over people. People are always wanting influence, even if they're not in the business world any longer, if they're retired or whatever they're doing. Everybody has some kind of value that they want to get across. They have some cause that they want to speak for or just to build their career, to grow an entrepreneur business that you know starts like you did after you already had another very successful career. And so that is a way to establish your credibility. And in fact, you know, we even have a cliche when you're asking, does this person know about, oh yeah, yeah, oh he wrote the book on that. Yeah. Right. That, that's where that cliche came from because that is your ultimate authority. Mm. And not self-published, because anybody can self-publish today. You know, we have the technology that you just take your book sure. down and you can pay somebody $50 to convert it to an e-book or do it yourself, put it on Amazon, and ah, you're a, you're a bestseller. But that doesn't establish credibility like having a, a, a major publisher come and pay you money instead of you paying the printer and paying all these people and book designer and putting it together. But somebody's saying what you have to say is worth spreading mm. and they pay you for it and then they distribute all around the world so it's not only just in the u.s but that's that's the best way i think uh and the best reason is for authority and credibility that makes a lot of sense and if you're doing your research right now trying to figure out should i do this and and is diana the right option she has a robust social media she's made uh, dozens and dozens of videos we're going to show one video right now
movie producers tell us that if a writer can't summarize the movie plot in one sentence, the movie will never sell. The same is true of a book. Summarizing your book into a pithy pitch makes the difference between one that finds its way into the bookstores and one that's doomed to obscurity. I love that. It just, you have these little short uh, videos that I think inspire people. What kind of people do you like to work with when it comes to uh, creating their own book? Well, at, at the Boer Book Camps, I, have, I keep the group really small so that they can give input, but uh, it's always a variety of people that are in there, and that's, that's the beauty of it, because when you put your book out there, you don't know exactly who's going to be buying it. They could be buying it for their own use or to buy 200 of them for their staff or as a gift. So that uh, type of person, I'm, for example, the last uh, Boer book camp that I did in November, I had a realtor in there, uh, an, a, an attorney, uh, an executive who had just retired, sold his company and retired from, from a recruiting business, and then someone on a church staff, uh, minister's wife. So just, it's a broad variety, but it's people who have some kind of, they have a new process, they've innovated something in their organization, I mean, it could be something as technical as inventory management or project management, or it could be just a very broad inspirational book on being positive and what, whatever. So you, they, they have all different ideas, but the process is the same. That yes. is, you know, getting the book proposal done and finding, writing a query so you can find an agent and letting the agent sell it while you write the book. The other thing that's wonderful about Diana is uh, she's walked more than a mile in, in your shoes. She knows all about uh, public speaking, which is a great way to uh, draw an audience, become a thought leader, and, and sell books. So we've got a clip from her speaker reel. Let's go ahead and roll up that clip now. People can understand more easily what you're saying because they have an open mind when you frame things in a positive way. If you think about it, communication is the basic business act. Nothing gets done without communication. Aristotle said you need three things to be persuasive, incredible, and to be trusted. Your personal presence is what it takes to get a message past the ears to the heart, to get action, to get a decision, to get people to achieve and go. Ask people what they think. Research is study. When you're in a crisis like a natural disaster, a security breach, etc., the way you take action quickly and appropriately conveys your personal presence. I've sold 48 books to major publishers for a good advance up front, and then those books have been picked up in 62 foreign editions and have won quite a few awards. American Library Association Best Nonfiction of the Year and Executive Summary's Best Book of the Decade. Wow, that's really impressive. <laughs> you <laughs> well, you inspire you. me. I want to redo my speaker <laughs> reel now. And you know, you mentioned when you started out, you said, People are always saying, I'm going to do that one day or someday. Right. You, you hear that a lot. And I think the key reason that people don't get to it is they have this terribly uh, vague idea of how long it's going to take them. And they think, I, I don't have two years of my life to put aside or five years or whatever. Now, some novelists might spend five years sure. writing a book. But for the average self-help uh, book or gift book or business book, you can write that book in less than a month. I usually... The longest it's ever taken me to write a book is, and this was over 100,000 words, wow. was 21 days, but typically in about 10 days. And that's one thing that people are just thrilled to learn. Oh, you mean I don't have to take you know, sabbatical and be off for a year to say, yes, you can actually learn a process and get that book out really, really quickly. And that makes it easier for somebody that someday to come quicker. Absolutely, and you have a, a book camp coming up. We're gonna put that information up on the screen. And I want you to tell us uh, what happens at, at a book camp. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Uh, the group I keep very small because the, one of the key values in that, book, uh, in that book camp is the feedback that you get, not only from me on yes. their own, your own personal idea, but for everyone else. And so when we have that mixture that I mentioned, you know, an engineer, an accountant, et cetera, we teach people how to 
to immediately evaluate the options. You, know, you can self-publish, you can go to hybrid publisher or major. And I always give them the pros and cons of each, but sure. I suggest they go to a major publisher because that publisher is paying them up front as opposed to you having to pay somebody else to publish it. But uh, we help them shape their idea. Many people think that this is the right idea, but when we say, you've got to be able to say this in a sentence, just like a movie and somebody says, oh, you saw that movie, what was it about? Yes and you need to tell them in a sentence. Well, you need to be able to do that for your book as well. And many people need help in fine tuning it and who's gonna buy it, et cetera. Yes. So we go through that and we take them all the way through the 10 ingredients in a selling book proposal. And again, each person is doing their thing and then they you know, read their sentence or their email to find an agent and we give them critique on it. So it's very personalized. So that you don't, you know, you're not on a, some kind of show where you have 10,000 people, you know, yes. just s signed in. Well, I mentioned off the top of the show that it is like birthing a child. I mean, you bec this, this book becomes your baby. Right. Um, I'm sure you've seen the metamorphosis of uh, clients that you work with from me, write a book, could I do that, <laughs> to look at my book. Yes, yes. And it's so exciting when people get their book shipped to them from the publisher and they're always sending me clips of it says look here it is you know here it is here it is and <laughs> or they take pictures they're taking out of the box like this and signing copies and that's the glamorous part you know the hard part is that's three weeks or four weeks you're sitting behind your pc yes. uh, clipping out the words but uh, once you get that done it's fun and games for the next two or three years while you're promoting so uh, what is it like to engage you in the process? If somebody wanted to hire you to help them through the process, you have an introductory meeting, what happens? Yes, uh, they can go to boorbookcamp.com and read all the things and topics that we cover because I'm sure people have heard of other places, but you know what we cover. And then they can set up a strategy call with me and I will talk about their idea. No charge, you know, for the first 10 minutes, and sure. then if they want to go longer, then we will go longer and actually start working. I mean, sometimes people call and they say, what can you help me do, and we start talking. Well, I just want to do the title right now. Let's, let's do it. And so we spend, you know, maybe an hour, and they come up with a great book title. It just happened last week, this reason, Top of the Mind. Somebody just called and said, hey, can you help me do this title? She gave me the, the uh, essence of the book, yes. and we were able to come up with a great title in all of her chapters, all in just about 40 minutes. Wow. So. Well, you strike me as a very kind coach, and I, I know anytime somebody hires somebody, they, they want them to be uh, – kind but honest i mean you don't want to hire somebody who's just going right you know. and, and sometimes you have to tell somebody that that idea there's not a big enough audience maybe yes. you should just self-publish uh, and sometimes they can't write and so you tell them that's a great idea those are great thoughts right. but you need to link up with a, a ghostwriter and, and i've done that a couple a few times maybe seven or eight times in yes. my career i've written a book for somebody else so there are a lot of options to get it out there you know i can link people with them uh, with the ghostwriter if I don't want to do it myself. But um, they also have questions, Jeff, about getting it out there because a lot of people can write a book, but they can't promote it. Yes. And you've got to, you know, you've got to do podcasts, you've got to get on TV, you've got to, it's all that marketing that people are going, whoa. <laughs> and, and sometimes that's more important than actually the content of the book. I mean, yes. I, I've had Penguin Random House, which I've published with several times, come back and say, okay, th we like the idea, but <laughs> tell me about your marketing plan. Yes. That's really important. And now it, it's not just going out and being a speaker like I've done for several decades, but it's, it's the podcasting, it's being a guest, it's having your own show, it's doing yes. an ease on, a lot of other things that are involved. You're wonderful. We're going to end the segment with uh, your website so people can get in touch. BoerResearch.com is her main website, and from that you can navigate to all of the other offerings. Uh, Diana Boer, thank you so much for coming on the thank show. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Enjoy you it. Bet. And that's it for now. We'll see you next time.